My mother had a, she had a degree in art and then went back to school and got a nursing degree. So I think she started me in art to kind of follow through with something that she hadn't finished or, or didn't follow through on. Um, and that love of art just continued. And I always thought it would be part of my life. I didn't know that it actually ended up being my career. The inspiration were the paintings that I had done um, during the pandemic and paintings that I've done after getting laid off before at 60. It's really about a journey of imagination, but hopefully it'll be bigger than that, you know, with children and the It's a general idea of what I want to do, but as it starts, I end up adding things in between if it needs connectors or if I feel that the message could be clearer if I add something. That ending came when I enjoyed the process so much and enjoyed the idea of the storyline of you know, imagination, exploration, um, journey. And so I wanted to do another one, but I really hope that I get another book out there. I, it took longer than I thought, considering the fact that I had the painting stuff and I had the high food. I was concerned about it, and I did worry about it, and especially because I was writing the book, it was to help me. And so I did have to start thinking about, like I had um, Orion in the constellation, and I thought, children don't know what it is. I don't have a painting with that constellation in it, so I had to, you know, change it to, um, I think it, it was a line that was sing along while Venus, or whistle along while Venus sings. I think Venus is easier for a parent to explain than Orion, a constellation of stars. Um, so there were things that I needed to um, adjust because it was for a children's book. I actually have um, three books in my head. Um, one would be another adventure one, and that would be you know, under the water as opposed to above the water in, in space. Right now I'm working on one. It's about gratitude at bedtime and the young birds out of perspective. So of course these images are all from a bird's eye view. So it's all looking down these images and are more of using patterns and overlay. Um, not as much movement, but and I'm still whimsical and at the same time in color that I'm used to. And then there's one that's in my head and I don't know how I can pull it off, but um, I have a title. <laughs> and it's called It's a Wonderful Day, There's a Concert in the Meadow. And this one is by Young Bee, Young Uncle Bee, and it's with flowers and musical songs.